Imagine standing on the surface of Mercury, where temperatures swing wildly from blistering heat to bone-chilling cold, plunging to a frigid minus 180 degrees Celsius despite its proximity to the Sun. But that's not all. Prepare to witness the most bizarre sunrises and sunsets known to humanity, painting the sky with hues unseen anywhere else in the cosmos. And here's the kicker. A day on Mercury lasts a mind-boggling two Earth years, a testament to the planet's sluggish rotation. But fear not, for we're not sending you on a lifelong mission. No, we're dispatching our intrepid team member, Ken, to brave just five seconds in this world. So get ready as we prepare to journey to the hottest hot mess in our solar system. Join us as we follow Ken's daring adventure, braving the extremes of Mercury's surface for a mere heartbeat in time. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more out-of-this-world adventures. Mercury's temperature swings are truly extreme. During the day, when it faces the sun, the surface heats up dramatically, reaching scorching temperatures of around 430 degrees Celsius. But when night falls, there's no atmosphere to trap the heat, so temperatures plummet to a bone-chilling minus 180 degrees Celsius. This wild temperature roller coaster happens because Mercury lacks a proper atmosphere. Instead, it has an exosphere which is incredibly thin, almost like the vacuum of space. Without enough molecules to distribute heat evenly, Mercury's surface experiences these drastic temperature fluctuations. On Mercury, there aren't any dust storms to worry about, but it's still a dangerous place. There's no weather or climate, but the extreme conditions can be deadly. With scorching heat, freezing cold, no breathable air and harsh radiation, it's a hostile environment. If your spacesuit malfunctions, you could end up in serious trouble, either burnt to a crisp or frozen solid, depending on where you are. Now let's search for a safe landing spot. Finding the right place to touch down on Mercury is no easy task. It's the smallest planet in our solar system, even tinier than Saturn's moon Titan. The surface is rough and uneven, with countless craters, cliffs, and ridges. Finding a flat area to land on is a challenge in itself. Plus, there's no atmosphere to slow down your descent. Without air resistance, your spacecraft will be hurtling towards the surface at incredible speeds, making the landing even more difficult. If you want to land safely on Mercury, you'll need a spaceship with a strong engine to slow you down. But it's not easy because Mercury's orbit around the Sun isn't a perfect circle. It's more like an oval, so sometimes it's closer to the Sun, and other times it's farther away. Landing there is like aiming at a moving target while being pulled by the Sun's gravity. And since there's no atmosphere, you can't just float down gently. It's a real challenge. Imagine trying to hit a moving target while being pulled by the Sun's strong gravity. That's what landing on Mercury feels like. Sometimes it's close to the sun, and other times it's far away. You have to control your speed in a place where you can't just float down gently. It's definitely a challenge. Imagine plunging onto Mercury during its daytime. It's like stepping into an oven. The sun's scorching heat would sizzle you to a crisp. And get this, daytime on. Mercury stretches for a whopping 176 Earth days. That's twice as long as one Mercury year, which is just 88 Earth days. You wouldn't survive a full day there. You'd fry in minutes. Now, let's talk about landing on Mercury. Finding a safe spot to touch down won't be a walk in the park. Mercury is a bumpy ride, with its surface covered in craters, cliffs, and ridges. It's like navigating through a rocky obstacle course. And to add to the challenge, there's no atmosphere to cushion your landing. Without air resistance, your spacecraft would hit the surface at breakneck speed. 
But wait, there's more. Mercury's proximity to the Sun throws another curveball. The Sun's colossal gravity causes Mercury to orbit in an elliptical path. That means Mercury's distance from the Sun varies over time. Sometimes it's closer, sometimes it's further away. So landing on Mercury is like aiming at a moving target while being pulled by the Sun's strong gravitational force. Not to mention there's no easy way to slow down, no parachutes here. So picture this. You're hurtling toward Mercury, trying to hit a moving target, all while battling against the Sun's pull and managing your speed. It's like threading a needle while riding a roller coaster. Landing on Mercury isn't just challenging, it's downright daunting. But hey, that's the thrill of space exploration, pushing the limits and defying the odds. Imagine wearing a special suit designed for space. It can handle really hot temperatures, up to 120 degrees Celsius. Now think about Mercury, where it's three and a half times hotter than that. Your suit wouldn't last long there. Within seconds, it would start to fall apart. And in just a few minutes, your suit's important parts, like the stuff that keeps you alive, would stop working. You'd feel like you're burning up, and unfortunately, you wouldn't make it. So, if landing on the hot side of Mercury is a no-go, what about landing on the side that's in the dark? Picture this. Mercury's dark side is like stepping into a deep freeze, with temperatures dropping to a bone-chilling minus 180 degrees Celsius. Even the best heating system in your spacesuit wouldn't stand a chance here. Within minutes, it would give out, and you'd start feeling the cold creeping in. Your body temperature would plummet, and in just 10 minutes, you'd be gone. And that's if nothing else goes wrong. Now you might be wondering, what's the point of visiting a new planet if you can't take in the sights? So, let's say you decide to brave Mercury's scorching heat instead. Hang tight, there might be a solution after all. Ever heard of the Terminator Zone? It's not about the movies, but rather a spot on Mercury right between its scorching day side and icy night side. In this special zone, temperatures could be just right. But be warned, it's still pretty tough out there. The temperature on Mercury can change super quickly. This might be your best chance at spending a few moments on Mercury without frying like an egg. And guess what? You'll get to witness something truly extraordinary, the double sunrise. Because of Mercury's unique spin and orbit, you'd see the sun rise, pause, and then rise again in quick succession. All right, touchdown achieved. Temperatures at 130 degrees Celsius. Toasty but not charred. Mission accomplished. Now about that double sunrise, you'll need to hang out on Mercury for a bit longer. But uh, here's the catch. It's not exactly safe to stick around. Temperatures shoot up fast, and in just 3.2 hours, it'll be scorching hot. So it's probably best to head back before things heat up too much. Hold on tight, space explorers. As we reach the end of this cosmic adventure, imagine yourself drifting among the stars, captivated by the wonders of the universe. But wait! A micrometeorite strikes your spacesuit and suddenly you're losing oxygen. The double sunrise fades from view and your breath catches in your throat. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned.